There are a ton of different tools and things that you can get for your office that can help make you more productive. But today I'm going to show you one of my favorite things that I've ever purchased that is normally for streamers. Today I'm going to show you the Elgato Stream Deck. I have the Excel version, but there are a lot of different options and Elgato has an entire suite of different apps and tools that you can use to connect to your Stream Deck. I'm using the Elgato Facecam Pro as we speak and I have some of their key lights and other tools as well. All right, so this is my Elgato Stream Deck. This is the XL version. So there are 36 keys on this and on all of the versions, they can have multiple pages and multiple profiles, which I will show you what that means in just a moment. But they also allow you to have different screensavers and things like that. So my current screensaver is the Animal Crossing um, Cafe and we also have the Pac-Man. So this is just a fun way to add some gifts. You can make each of the icons animated or they can just be static photos. So I just go for static photos on most of these, but the animations can be a fun way to spice it up and just make it your own. There's a lot of different options on the Stream Deck. So I'm gonna run through a few of the main ones and then I'll show you some of the more detailed options. So I have the Elgato light strips going around my computer screen here and it is controlled with the Stream Deck. So I can turn these on and off, make it brighter or darker, and it completely shut it off from just a few clicks on the home screen. I also have some Govi lights behind me and those are controlled with these. So I can turn on the light and then this turns it to white, although it's normally set to go with my music. We also have the Elgato Face Cam Pro hooked up to different frames. So for example, frame A zooms out just a bit, frame B is my widescreen mode, and frame C is cropped in. So I can quickly change the face cam with my Stream Deck. There are also quick little timers. These are really helpful if I'm just trying to do the Pomodoro method or if I'm setting timers for my kids. So I have five, 10, and 20 minutes and they will count down on screen. And then there's also a sound selection to choose what noise it'll make when it shuts off. I can click them again to stop the timer. I have Spotify on here and when I click on the Spotify icon, Spotify will open up on my computer as well as allow me to now access the other buttons. So I have play, skip, louder, and quieter. These are a bit hard to see on the camera, but they aren't too hard in real life. So those are just the regular buttons. Now we also have profiles. So for example, I have the Notion button, which opens up the Notion profile. And the Notion profile is a preset profile that I purchased from the Stream Deck store. They have a whole marketplace where you can download plugins, profiles, screensavers, and all kinds of cool tools. So these are some of the default ones. So for example, I can open up a new window and it'll open up a new window in my Notion. I can change it from light to dark. And you can see that the icon changes depending on what mode I am in. Then we can add headings in one click. We can add different databases with new views and we can change the text colors with just one click. So this is a lot faster in some cases um, rather than doing keystrokes. And especially because I record a lot of videos, this is much quieter to click on camera than my mechanical keyboard. So this is just one version of the profile. There is are profiles for each of my primary apps. So for example, for um, Final Cut Pro over here, when I click that, I get my quick tools for Final Cut. And I also have a little quick plugin that shows my latest YouTube video and when it was last posted and updated. So that's kind of my YouTube tracker. And I have a profile set up for each of my primary apps. So whenever I click to a different app, like here, if I toggle between Final Cut and Notion, you will see that the profiles switch automatically, making it really easy for me to access all of my shortcuts. One of my favorite functionalities for this is that I don't currently have a numpad on my mechanical keyboard. So I have a numpad added onto Stream Deck, giving me quick access to typing in my numbers and also giving me F13 through F24 function keys so that I don't have to worry about mapping my keyboard accordingly, which is a lot faster for me depending on the work that I'm doing. So if I have a spreadsheet open, I can just open this up and have it right next to me. The Stream Deck also comes off of this back stand here. And so I can lay this completely flat on my desktop and use it just like a regular keyboard. There are other great 
options like these plugins for toggle, which will allow me to track my time by just clicking one button. So I have like tracking my time for emails, for different meetings, and these are for each client. So I have a profile for each client set up. So when I have their option open, um, it allows me to quickly access all of that information for each client. This is the Stream Deck app, which is really easy to configure. And even if you don't purchase the Stream Deck um, hardware itself, you can actually access this via an app on your phone. So if this is something that you wanna try out and see if you like, then you can do it with your device rather than purchasing one of the actual decks. Creating different pages on here is super easy. You can add different profiles from this profile dropdown where you can create a new profile. We'll make a new one, for example. And then we have some preset options by Stream Deck in here, but you can also click on the marketplace option here to add in different apps and plugins, which I'll show you in just a few moments. But for example, we can open up our camera hub, which is for my Elgato camera. And we have a bunch of different options here, like selecting our camera. And when we click and drag that into one of the button spaces, you'll notice that it pops up on my Stream Deck right away. There's also navigation, which will allow us to go to the previous or next page and also to switch profiles. So if I want to make sure I can get back to the home page from here, then I can set what profile I want and I can even set what page I want to open to. So if I want to go back to the home screen on page two, when I click the button, I'll go back to the home screen on page two. There are a ton of different options that you can do with just hotkeys. So if you add in a hotkey button, then you can type in what keystroke you want to copy. So this is the keystroke for opening up Raycast. So when I click on that button and it opens up my Raycast app using the same keystroke. So if I don't want to map all of the keystrokes, if I don't always remember them all, this is a great alternative to saving some of those shortcuts and accessing them within Stream Deck. You can also add text shortcuts. So this is a great way to sign off on emails very quickly or to just have automations for text that is longer than your regular computer system can handle. And you can even use shortcuts from the Mac shortcut app, which is a great way to access automations within your Mac system. For example, we can use my shortcut to log caffeine. And when I click that, it's gonna open up and allow me to access the shortcut. Now, all of these different plugins are very custom to your own settings and they can be downloaded from the marketplace. So on the marketplace, we can go to our Stream Deck section here and there are plugins, icons, profiles, sounds, music, and screensavers. So the plugins, you can sort by what system you are on. So I am on Mac OS, but there are a ton of options on here. You can also sort by types. So like I said, this is not just for streaming. There are options for business, there are options for productivity, and even if you are a developer, or just really into gaming. You can put all of those things on here and just control your entire smart home suite from your Stream Deck. There's also different profiles that you can add in. So if you are someone who uses Zoom a lot, for example, this way you don't have to go through and set up every single shortcut and every single keystroke. It will automatically add this for you. So let me show you what this looks like. You're going to hit download, which will download a zip folder and within this folder, you will see some of the icons that it's using. And then you'll also see the Stream Deck profiles. Usually there's a few different options. Since I have the extra large, I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to use the labeled version. I'm gonna drag that to my desktop just for ease of access here. And then we'll go into edit profiles and in this dropdown, we can import. Then we'll select the profile we want to add, click install. And now we have our Zoom folder. So now we can see what each one of these looks like. For example, the join meeting section is just a hotkey with a custom icon. And you can add whatever icons you like. You can create new icons within their icon builder. This is pretty straightforward and they also have a massive library of icons that you can use to create this. Personally, I like to use Canva, but this is a great option as well. You can also open their icon library, which is where all of your Elgato branded icons will be and also any ones that you choose to download from the marketplace will live here. And of course you can set one from any file. So any icons that you download from the web, you could use in here. You can also set custom titles. So you'll see, so you can see them on the bottom section of each button. 
and you can choose to label or not label each one of these. You can also click on the edit profiles and choose what application will open up this option. So you can choose from any of your different applications. For example, if I wanted this to open when I was on Tele instead of Zoom, then we could do that. Or if you use Skype instead, you could use that. The Stream Deck is extremely customizable. You can even find custom skins and covers for your Stream Deck, just like you see here. And Stream Deck has a ton of different plugins that are all user made and some that are official Elgato ones that you can use to customize all the plugins even further. I am not someone who streams or really uses this for video much at all other than switching my camera framing, but I use this every single day and it is really helpful for opening up shortcuts, opening different pages within my web browser, and just accessing my computer a lot faster. I will have links to some of the profiles that I've purchased, such as the Notion one and the Final Cut Pro one, so you can copy them out as well, and a link to some of the icons that I use. These are from Icons 8. If you want to try it out, you can download the free Stream Deck app and test it out on your phone before committing to the actual deck. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'd be more than happy to share some templates and some tips. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.